Ava, and Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And you know what that means. Having nothing to do all day and you don't want to go outside because you'll see couples on the street and I can't go to Disneyland because there's going to be proposals and that's awkward to watch, so. Valentine's Day is coming up and even though I have a boyfriend this year, This is the first Valentine's Day I've ever had a boyfriend because fun fact, every year growing up that I did have a boyfriend, so I've had three major boyfriends in my life growing up, like two in high school, one in college. And fun fact, while I dated these guys for some reason of the universe, we would always break up like a week before Valentine's Day. And for the longest time I thought it was cursed because like, it's kind of like, it's just weird. True story. This is the first Valentine's Day that I will be with somebody that I love. Which is so beautiful. Oh, also, if you notice my, my bed is not made, it's because Paris diarrhea on it. Today's video is all about what not to do on Valentine's Day, so that in the event that you do have somebody that you're dating, when Valentine's Day comes around, unlike me, previous years ago, you will know what to absolutely avoid doing on Valentine's Day. These are things that happen to everybody, and hopefully this video will stop it. Now this video is all things that you should not do on Valentine's Day, but I got one thing that you should do on Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh yeah, it's coming. Let me just go, let me just go grab this real quick. You should go online or to Barnes & Noble or to Target or to like pretty much anywhere and buy my book. My Life is Ava, The Struggle is Real. I have the official book in my hand, like, on the back there's a quote from Shane Dawson who is my favorite youtuber and I'm so lucky to have his quote on the back of my book this was a picture of me in high school this is this is probably why they broke up with me a few days before Valentine's Day yep. this book is everything. so without further ado if you want to learn some things that you should not do on Valentine's Day let's get into it Whoosh. Okay, so the first thing you should definitely not do on Valentine's Day is get someone a corny ass Valentine's gift they're gonna use one time, they're gonna take an Instagram photo, and then it's just gonna sit in their room somewhere awkward because Valentine's Day things really don't go with your normal decor. Cute bears are creepy after Valentine's Day, especially those giant bears. Like, what are you- Ava, I got you something. Teddy bear? Oh my god, thanks babe! What am I gonna do with this thing? It's so cute! you definitely should not do on Valentine's Day or any time is watch a romantic movie with your parents in the room. That's just awkward, self-explanatory. Mama Gatowski gonna come for you. should never do on Valentine's Day is get someone's expectations up. Now, this is a big thing on Valentine's Day. Everyone thinks, oh, I've been with this guy for a year. He's gonna propose. Oh, I've been liking this guy. Like, I think he's gonna ask me to prom on Valentine's Day. Like, people just build up expectations and then they like rarely ever happen if you're not 100,000% sure. And it's just really disappointing. I've been there, I've been there. This is a thing on Valentine's Day. You drop hints with whoever you're dating. They know what you want. Like, you cannot be more obvious of what you want. Oh, babe, my favorite flowers are tulips that are pink. Oh, babe, I really love 
almond flavored chocolate. We all do this. We all drop hints to whoever we're dating, even our parents on Christmas, and we think, we think they're smart enough to figure it out. And then they just build your expectations up and it's not what you wanted. never do on Valentine's Day is profess your love to someone who doesn't love you back or that you're not sure loves you back. I've done this before. It's in the book. In the book, there is literally a story about me writing a two-page love letter professing my love to a guy, pouring my heart and soul out. Literally like what you're about what are you about to see in this video? That's what happened. I literally had my grandma drive me to his house so I could drop the note off at his door. And yeah. He never called me back. <laughs> yep. Today is the day. Jimmy will finally know how I feel about him, and my dreams will come true. I know he's been staring at me in math class. He's totally into me. This will be a piece of cake. Let me just put a few finishing touches on this note. Some hearts, some stars. And it's done. Perfect. time that I profess my love to you. I'm sure you feel the same. For months on end, I've been watching you in class, and I know that your eyes, when they meet mine, they mean something true, something magical, something that only we share. As I'm reading this, I would like to ask you to be my valentine which I'm sure is an offer you cannot, sorry, you cannot refuse. I wonder if Jessica likes elephants. The way that your hair glistens in the moonlight. Hey babe, do you like elephants? The way that your lips meet mine only in, in my dreams, but they, they still meet mine. Yeah, oh my God, I love elephants, get me 12. Love you. If you want to be my Valentine, please open a window. If you want to be my valentine, please give me a sign that you're home. The next thing you should never do on Valentine's Day is try to take an unrealistic couple photo. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen couple photos that I want to recreate, but then you really think about it and you're like, who is there? Who is the third person watching, and not only watching, taking pictures of you doing this, and this, and this, and this? I don't understand. I don't know who the third wheel is in these situations. I am sorry, personally, if you are that person that has to take photos for the couple like that. Like, I just, that's just, mm -mm. I hope you find someone on Valentine's Day if you are that third person. 
I do. Unrealistic couple photos are just literally ridiculous and especially shopping cart photos. I've never understood those. I feel like, I don't know, people are rude in shopping centers so I just feel like that wouldn't go over well, but yeah. Babe, this photo is so sick. Can we recreate it? Oh yeah, let's do it. We can go down to Ralph's. Yeah, you damn. You wanna do it? Yeah. Let's go right now. Let's do it. You won't do it. I will do it. Let's do it together. <laughs> Should definitely not do on Valentine's Day. If you do them, let me know how it went down. Maybe it went down better than my situations, my views, my opinions. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below who your Valentine is. If you don't have one, just write my book because it comes out on Valentine's Day and it will be your Valentine. And look, it's even wrapped with a little red bow. The link to pre-order my book will be in the description box, but you can find it anywhere. Go pre-order it. Right now I'm currently having a thing called 12 Days of My Life as Ava on my Instagram and Twitter where I'm doing daily giveaways of cool stuff that's been in my videos before. I gave away my old vlog camera one day. I gave away cat ears. I gave away outfits in literally my life. So things are going on. So find all my links down below to go and check those out. Also guys, I have a very special announcement. I have been vlogging a ton recently and I've been getting really into it. I almost think vlogging is like my new I want to say it's my new favorite thing to do on YouTube, so it kind of sucks that I have a separate vlog channel from my main channel because I'm so motivated to upload vlogs like as much as possible. I just wish they were on the same channel, but I don't know. A two separate channel, let's keep it that way. I renamed my vlog channel Vlogtowski because I thought it was super cute, like Vlogtowski vlogs. The link will be in the description to check that out too, so you have a few things to do. Pre-order the book, subscribe to the vlog channel, and get excited for Vlogtowski. Get excited for the book, and also leave a comment down below letting me know who your Valentine is. So without further ado, I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys are having an amazing day and have an amazing Valentine's Day. I love you, I love you, I love you! Oh, have an amazing day. I don't want you to forget because some people have crappy days and if your day is crappy, turn it upside down because you're beautiful. Have an amazing day. I love you. Where are you? Babe, I got you something.